several times stated that there was no smoke detectors. I think the building commission will tell you that is not true. There was a smoke detector down in the basement. There was not a CO detector. What the, building, what the fire department and the building inspector's office requested is that they felt that there should be more smoke detectors down there than was there. There was one, they wanted two additional smoke detectors placed in the basements to increase and to uh, increase the electrical panels servicing those smoke detectors. All of that was done by my clients as quickly as it humanly could be possible by hiring the, ind the independent contractors. And that was done within two or three weeks not even, 10 days I think it was done, that they got the independent contractors in there. That is not something a landlord has the authority or, or expertise to be able to do. So it was not the dangerous situation that was being there. The CO2 detector was there's a heating element in a different part of the basement that they felt, uh, which does work on, a, a, on gas uh, or propane, I don't remember which one it is, and that was the concern with the CO, and they have been installed also. So it is not the same kind of thing that, where that we were allowing people to live without smoke detectors. In fact, I have an um, email that I'd like to uh, tell you from the person who actually caused the fire. Um, uh, the fire was caused, and uh, I respectfully uh, submit that there was a found finding of the fire. They didn't find the exact cause, but they found it was caused on a bed from a, an electrical device being left, turns out it was a curling iron, on the bed that ca caused the bed to catch fire. So it was nothing that was inherently um, wrong with any of the electrical systems or the layout or something else relating to the uh, uh, conditions of the premises. It was a tenant negligence that caused the, the situation. Non-intentional, we are not suggesting in any way it was, it was that.